Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth. It's still Enterprise Morning. You're welcome back. President Bola Tinibu on Monday said that the accidental airstrike that killed at least 126 persons and injured scores in Tudumbiri, Kaduna State was a tragic event designed by God. Tinibu's statement came barely a week after the Nigerian army mistakenly bombed Tudumbiri village, killing villagers celebrating Maulud. Tinibu's statement attributing the incident to God echoed Vice President Kashim Shetimas, who asked Nigerians not to dwell on the matter. Similarly, Nohu Ribadu, the national security advisor, urged the country to move on despite innocent lives lost in the tragic incident. The incident has sparked widespread criticism from outraged Nigerians as Tinibu on Tuesday mourned those killed and ordered a probe into the matter. Idris Dahiru, a resident of Tudumbiri, narrated how the army bombed villages celebrating Maulud, killing 34 members of his family. Dahiru said the army dropped two bombs on the village in 30 minutes intervals, explaining that the second bomb killed those who ran to the scene to rescue villagers injured by the first bombing. The Tudumbiri incident comes as the latest among many or the bombing of civilians by the Nigerian army. Let's make a, a, a sense out of um, this, this conversation uh, today. And uh, still with me in the studio is uh, Mr. Cyril uh, Baku. Mr. Cyril, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for holding on and staying with us on Enterprise Morning and joining us on the conversation. Today is Dr. Olanika Thank you so very much, sir, for always um, coming around. Gentlemen, let's try to make sense out of um, this issue for a bit. Uh, President Bola Tinibu has come to um, say that this incident um, is God's made. It is <laughs> that it is, um, you know, what it is. What do you have to say about that? Let me start uh, with you, Dr. Olanika. Well, I think it's a very, very uh, dicey thing to, to talk about. The issue is the vice president, uh, the president, the vice president, and the national security advisor. The three of them are Muslims. And the majority of those who died are Muslims. Mm. Uh, I understand to some extent, the, the Islamic faith, that anything happens, it is because God wants it to happen. Mm. But I don't want us to just sweep this thing under the carpet, under the guise that God wanted it to happen and it happened, mm. that there is nothing we could have done. No! I don't think God is a wicked God. God does not do such things. We must place the blame where it belongs. The idea of saying God willed it, therefore there is nothing we can do, has defeated even their own saying that they are going to probe it. Hmm. So if God has destined it, then why do you need to probe it? Then forget about it and just say, okay, God has said it will happen and it has happened. There is nothing we can do. I mean, we cannot continue to live our life like that. So. Now, you have 126, 80, 50, 10, or whatever, even if it is one life. A life is a life that nobody can create. So, for, for it to have happened, it shows that there are some lapses somewhere. And this is not the first time. I love daily trust. Last week when it happened, Daily Trust did a blow-by-blow blow account of how many people it has happened, how many times this has happened. Now, up till this moment, we have never had whether a general, a colonel, or any senior military officer or whoever has been punished. Rather, 
have, they are still being promoted. So what is happening? So you allow people, we, I, and don't let us think that we are blaming them because the chief of army staff said, mm. I think last night, mm. at, the at the graduation ceremony mm. that uh, we should mind how we blame them so that next time when they see uh, bandits mm. or, or terrorists, or terrorists mm. they will be wary of, fine, we are not blaming them per se, but what we are saying is that, look, <coughs> This thing happened clearly with failure of, of intelligence. As I said some time ago, if your drone had seen that there are people milling around, did your drone, was it not equipped in such a way that it will know whether they are carrying weapons or not? If they are carrying weapons, then no problem. But these people are not carrying any weapon. So, for the, the, the president, the vice president, and the national security advisor to come and be telling us that it is the way God will be, I think it's in gym, it, 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 I mean, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's a wicked thing to say. Mm -hmm. Well, they might say that in their own faith, it, it, that's the way it, uh, it, it is, but I, I don't believe that. I mean, if we worship a wicked God, then why worship him? Uh -huh. Or why worship that God? If it is a wicked... We can say that, okay, the God has willed it that I'm going to be rich, so I don't, have, I don't need to work. <laughs> or God has willed it that I'm going to be poor, so I don't need to... I mean, come on. We are not uh, uh, ordinary clay in the hand of a, a, mod, a pot maker that can use the pot to make anything. We, there is a way, in my own faith, there is a way that even if something, if they say this is what will happen, you can will it away with your power and with your prayer and with your work. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean, I mean, I mean, it's, there are some things I would have said, mm. but I don't want to say it because it is a public, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in private I've said some of these things, but this is public. Mm -hmm. How can you come on? and say, are we more religious than other countries that will say that is, uh, you, you mean something like this will happen in the United States or even in, in Saudi Arabia, <coughs> the home of uh, Islam, and then they will just review and say, no, God has willed it, then we should allow it to go. No. <laughs> Mr. Cyril, um, as, as part of uh, Bola Tinubu's statement, it, it reads in parts, but as a people of faith and people who believe in this country, we must take that act as a tragic event designed by God. End of quote. Do you think the statement of Bola Ahmed Tinibu would have adverse effect on the probe being carried out? No, I think his statement actually begs the probe. Begged the probe. It, it, it begs the purpose of the probe. It begs the question. It begs the matter itself. And one could almost extrapolate from what happened and from the president's speech to begin to have a better window into this whole war of terror. Uh, like Dr. Ibn was saying earlier, the Saudis, the home of Islam, could have afforded not to build refineries. They could have afforded not to develop themselves. Jeddah is a tourist uh, attraction. Je Jeddah is a well-known is a, a city people love to visit. Uh -huh. It's in Saudi Arabia. They could have afforded not to take care of themselves and say it, it was the will of God. I don't think it. So I think that both, I mean, uh, both Christianity and Islam and all the other religions that are in Nigeria, you look at how things are not working in the country. And now we're very religious. Just tells you that we read and I think misapply some of the tenets of the faith. Some things will happen. Definitely. When they do. The Bible actually the Bible even says that whatever happens to you, give thanks to God that will be the concerning your life. Mm. But does that really mean that you should not take you should not, you know, you shouldn't punish bad people? Take precautions. We had a institution in which uh, people have been bombed. The president isn't talking tough. The military leadership has not been relieved of their duty. Such a calamitous, humongous 
unconscionable failure bordering on crimes against humanity. And the nation is being made to believe that it's just another thing that happened. Perhaps this is also part of the problem when you have a president who is from who is the same faith Islam with his vice president Islam with the national security advisor Islam. Somehow it makes them see things from only one perspective. That's the problem. And sincerely, if soldiers are complaining that they are not eating well, they are not well armed, uh, they are being ambushed, and they want that is dragging on, I hope someone doesn't believe that this is the way it has been willed to be. Hmm. It has not been willed to be like this. I can tell you for a fact that we have a very, very strong part to play in overcoming our challenges. It's a pity that uh, we're playing to the gallery, we're playing to sentiments, we're playing to emotions, we're playing to the moment, but where you have 126 people that have died, I think that um, by now we should have told the world that we're more serious than we're appearing to be. The real problem the president has today isn't even about the event that happened, but it's management. Mm. It's management. You would have read the other you are asking enough, you are going to be threatening to sue the president yeah. over the handling of the matter. Believe me, they are going to award a contract to someone who will go and supply the materials. And those things will not, may, may not even lack. When we are talking about adequate compensation for victims. But already the, 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 you know, the National Assembly um, have made up their salaries, about 109 million naira no. for compensation. No. No. Don't you think that... Law. At the risk of sounding uh, uh, like the adversary here, the, part, the fact is the National Assembly, each senator is, what they plan to do, each senator will donate 1 million. 1 million naira, yes. What, 109 million. Hmm. What does that even really do? That's even more like an intervention. Okay. The real question is, we must get to the bottom of the matter. What really, let me tell you how this thing is done. <coughs> what, the International Code for Groups of Engagement, the Geneva Convention provides for what you call precision bombing. Yeah. Now, Tudumbiri is not even a, a remote village as you have been made to believe. Mm. All right? So, first of all, cities like Lagos and towns like Ikeja, Ikoyi, Lake and all these places should have been well mapped with in, our, in our military. Is it geo, 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 mapping. geo mapping? Whatever it is, they should properly, they have proper intelligence coordinates of all those places. They know which areas are dense, which, which areas are not dense, who lives where. The markets in those places. So there are some places that you, that you can't even imagine to use certain levels of lethal force for engagement, first of all. To do this in Kaduna, Kaduna is just military headquarters. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. So all those areas have been properly and fully marked. Ideally, terrorists shouldn't even be converging in that place, given the proximity. That, I mean, you have Jaji, you have the have one div. Oh, yeah. All the places are in Kaduna, ideally. A terror camp should not even be located around that area. For that, it it, can't it, even you know, so what are you saying invariably? No, are you saying that the military no, is no, uh, no, knows, knows, knows something that no, they are not trying to Okay. In, in middle of it, I don't believe it was it was deliberate. Mm. It is the way it is being handled that is not so 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 for example, let me just assume somebody who the who children have had access to the drone whatever room yeah. where it is there. I thought it was just playing or doing reals and I mistakenly pressed on the wrong button. And that, I'm thinking... You're I'm assuming. Very, I'm assuming. Okay. Without conceding, sincerely. Mm. I'm assuming. <coughs> if that was the case, it means there was the religion of duty, there was negligence of duty, somebody had access to where shouldn't have been going to, that's a possibility. But if, you see, if, the, if somebody now comes to say that they actually thought and knew that people were converging there, mm. the question is, when you check, I believe that someone who didn't have clearance, someone who didn't have the knowledge of what was what 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 using drones was was mm -hmm. one woman that pressed that button because normally to do people should not be the first place that you spotted and try to bomb and maybe you didn't bomb. You know, normally there are scenarios. Mm -hmm. We have spotted people in two thousand so like, can we bomb? Let's let let's 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 have a teacher report. Okay, we, we, we should have bombed on Friday, but we are looking at people with the house, so there are women and children, we we we, we, we can we can we can bomb, let's postpone it. There are places like that that they've marked, but 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 they can't strike it because mm. it, it, the, the opportunity to strike has, has not really come. So when that that, that day there were children, did the person check through the cameras? Did he see that there were children, there were women and children? This then the, the, there ought to be a spotter on the scene who ought to put, put a signal 
that goes back to back into space that they will pick and know that it is indeed time to strike. Mm. We see this is in movies. We see the US strikes in Somalia all the time. There was uh, Al Shabaab. Yeah. How was they able to strike uh, Suleiman? What's that? The, the Iranian yes. attack. The, they got the pinpoint. Yeah. Heavens didn't fall. Why is it that it is only Nigeria? Um, Henry, they bought Super Tokan or something. Is it, is, it, is it Super Tokan or the other one that they bought for the soldiers mm-hmm. that very evening when they buy tanks? That, that, that same day, Boko Haram comes and tags and takes everything away. If something is clearly not where it should be, two things could have happened. My best theory is that mm. somebody who shouldn't have entered that place went in there and pressed or should not have pressed. <laughs> or, on the other hand, people who are not qualified, mm. who, are, who don't have the requisite knowledge. So something is drastically, fundamentally wrong. The way it is being handled now shows as if the president is not, you know, they're, they're not, they're not demonstrating sufficient the determination to get the truth of the matter. Otherwise, the last the, the not only announcing that the president must uh, must now undertake an independent investigation. That's a shameful thing to be asking for. Doctor, um we we must um uh, I, I think, you know, understand um, if we get into the roots of the problem, we understand that the error has been made. Uh, don't you think the president's um, statement uh, there could be a form of reputation management whilst the the the, the probe is, is, is still ongoing but maybe they would love to downs the temperature well you see i i think one of well, even when we want to doubt tension there must be a way you are going to say hey as we have said earlier on attributing it to god in the first place, is wrong. Or, in, I mean, so when you now set up a probe, hmm. are you praying God? Because that's, that's exactly what is going to happen. Because when you have said that it is, it is God that said it is going to happen, okay, assuming now that we are able to get some soldiers okay. responsible for taking the wrong decision. If those soldiers now tell us that, oh, it was God that asked them to do it, what are you going to do? Because it will be his will. Exactly. Are you still going to punish them for carrying out God's will? So, I think what the, what, what the president, the president should not, in fact, the, the three of the, well, what the president, the vice president, and the uh, security advisor have said should have better been left to Islamic clerics. Mm. Because mm. in this thing, it is we didn't vote for God for goodness sake. Mm. Let me let me let, 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 let's be frank. Mm. It, it, it was not God that we voted for. We people voted for Bala Ahmed Tinubu. So they didn't of course we expect he, he, nobody is God. We expect that there will be mistakes, mm-hmm. but people must accept their mistakes. It is not God that, if people wanted God, decision to be made by God, then let's go back into a theocratic state. Why are we in a democracy? Let us let us let the religious leaders, whether Christian or Muslim, be the one taking decisions. It is not a, a case of. It is a clear case of irresponsibility for anybody for things to happen, and then you continue to blame, blame God. So now, if, 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 if by now uh, somebody offends me and I kill the person, then I go to court and I say, uh, he offended me and God said I should kill him. Will the law allow that? It, it won't. So we should not blame God. God should, in fact, God should not be brought into this thing at all. You see, that is the reason why I always believe that there is a, there should always be a demarcation between the state and religion. It is, 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 it is unheard of. Will it happen in the United States of America or any other country? Even the United States of America that has on its 
everywhere uh, in God we trust. trust. It can yeah. never happen, and then the president will come in and say that it is God's will. I mean, so we should not continue to blame God for what is not God's thing. I saw a, a cartoon somewhere a few days ago where the cartoonist was saying that on the last day, there are many people we have a lot to defend. Because when you say it is Satan that asks you to do it, Satan might come out and say, no, I wasn't there and I didn't ask you to do it. Then you say God asks you to do it, God will tell you, I didn't ask you to do that, or it wasn't my handiwork. So there, there must be a demarcation. We should not, this is not a fatalistic society for goodness sake. Some people might say, yes, it has been destined to happen. Well, so now, if any of them who are talking now, if their own members or family were to be involved, so that's just the way they will dismiss it. Then if we say it's the will of God, why then do we need to prove it? There's no need to prove it again now. Designed. Are you going to, are, are designed by God? Why are you there when God designed it? I mean, is as far as I'm concerned, is even blasphemy against God. Why should you say God designed that somebody should should die? That somebody should be killed. It's, it's not wrong. No, no, no. Mm. I think it's it's totally disingenuous. Mm. Uh, mm. Now, how how do you think? Don't you think um, all of this? Um, you know, making so much noise about this and making this. Um, an unnecessary issue, if I might say so. Don't you think this would give a room for for terrorists and criminals to regroup and um, take advantage of the situation? Uh, the, the first thing I'm going to say is it won't give them room to regroup. Because already everybody is blaming the military. The military it are saying, so stop blaming it us. It this would affect... Our operations and our architecture. See, this, this Don't you think this is a fatal ground for no, 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 the criminals no, to regroup? No. This is, okay, so for, for, first of all, the Nigerian army will not be the first to make this kind of mistake. If a mistake indeed it is, it's fine. It's okay. Mistakes mis, 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 uh, happen. Mm. The way to recover is when the right thing is done. I don't think that the president should have allowed the army, the leaders of, especially the army, because I mean, from what we had. Mm. Um, speculations or whatever, they, you know, as soon as the bombing took place, the Air Force said they were not part of what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later on, the leader was reported, the sources said that the Air Force said they even warned against the strike. Whoa. And you know, air combat is not the strong place of an army. No. It's, not, it's the strong place of the Air Force. Mm. So something fundamentally is wrong with the structure of our security architecture. And the commander-in-chief of the NSC must provide an answer to what is going on. To be fair, sincerely speaking, this kind of issue, there, in America there would have been an, a, a congressional hearing on the matter. In, there was someone that asked them questions. Well, you, you, can't, you, you can't hide behind classified issues, intelligence issues to be killing people. You must, who, how did you get the intelligence? How did you come to the conclusion <clears throat> that this is a viable target and that you are going to strike? How did you come to the conclusion? In addition to that, I'm even surprised that it is happening now. Why? Because the service chiefs now hmm. are all, they all belong to the same class. Okay. The same cause. Set, yeah. They are the cause, hmm. cause whatever yeah. it is. They are all the same. And that is the reason why they always do that, that if you are cause 35 hmm. and cause 34 becomes the Oga, yes, uh -huh. all the course 35 we, mm. we leave. I mean, the one preceding, we have to leave. Yeah. Because those who are in the same course, mm. they will have that collegiate mm. decision. Mm. So, why will the army go against what the Air Force has said? If the Daily Trust report is anything to go by, that the Air Force advised against it. So, there must be a probe to find out what exactly happened. And we should not, I, 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 we should not allow this thing to just go like that. Yes, you remember that, in fact, some people already are calling, have started reading 
extraneous meanings into everything now. So now we need to make sure that the government gets into the, the roots of this matter and find out what exactly happened. It should not, we can't continue like this. We sh it, 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 I mean, you know, every day I look at this country, I get frustrated. Every time, every day we talk, we come up and talk about this thing. But nothing happens. It reminds me of the late uh, Ola me one of his play, Holding Talks, mm. that everything you just come and talk, 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 no action will be taken. People, we hold seminars, we hold security seminars, we do this, we do that. Nothing happens. Nobody loses his job. Nobody loses his commission. Everything continues just like that. There must be a change. There must be a change. And uh, when the president came, People understood, or we understood that, okay, the former president, uh, Buhari, was always tardy, or he doesn't take decision on time and all that. So we thought that with Bola Ahmed, you know, things will change. But as far as things are now, it seems it's just business as usual. People are doing it, things with so much cavalry attitude that it doesn't, I mean, nothing has changed. If, if it is not even getting worse. <laughs> I mean, Cecilia, so how much of, of this do you think um, we can, if a possible, remove from the psyche of um, those in power to the fact that they might not use this as an opportunity to hinge it on the opposition? No, because, because, no, no. because they might that, that find a way to hinge it on the opposition that, that, that this is... A tactics for them the to the lousiest of things to do. You know, you asked me earlier about whether it will not weaken the uh, the capacity of the army to continue fight. It it will not. Listen, if the president had done the needful by saying that Mr. Lagbaja would step aside, okay, pending an investigation into this, but you shouldn't be the ones overseeing the investigation. Okay, isn't that what the the the, the, the lawyers are not are saying? Or open an independent investigation. The president should have done that, or they should have even honorably resigned. This was what happened is a cataclysmic failure. You know, we are at the point in this country where people, as in things happen, and we no longer have a sense of shame, mm. sense of failure, sense of the fact that I've done what is wrong. Nobody cares about that anymore. It's like when the other day the lady who was caught cheating in an examination uh, in the, uh, is in the university, yeah. masters or so. Mm. The later she was confirmed with SAN. There are some things that should not be done. There are some things that when they happen, it's not that the person is condemned, but for posterity sake, for the sake of people coming behind, we send a clear signal that we are not that, that, that we're not a society where evil is condoned, evil is uh, is, is is embraced. Mm. As if, you know, it's it's, it's, it's it's symbolic. Somebody may say which in which law book we are we are, we are, we are written. Mm. If everything has to be written, then it means that we're gonna go blind. Everything cannot be written. There's sense we are men of good sense, judgment, morality. Must, 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 must come into play. The mere fact that the president has left this polling office shows that he is satisfied, he's, he's okay with, with what they have done to know Biri or not to know Biri. So clearly, we're in a very bad place. And what if the president had taken them and said, okay, guys, pack a bag and walk away, I'll get a, a new leadership. Those people will come and energize the, 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 the troops again. But we are not even ready to look at who, where, where, where did the mistake come from, where the error come how are we not sure that we can, in future to be prevented? But don't you think that is the reason for the probe? Because the probe is Which still probe going on. I, we, we don't even know what probe is going on. Who is, the, who is leading the probe? Do we know? Who is leading the probe? Well, they are just saying they, there will be. I, I'm not sure they've set up a panel or whatever. Till now. <laughs> Till now. And then they say it's a will of God. Come on. Come on. We just, come on. We, just, we just continue to talk about this before another event will overshadow it and then we we'll forget about I it. I remember when it won happened in Iran. We, could, we said, they said bom, bom, how come, how come, how come? It was the national military. Bomb ran, it, the whole, the, it was, you know, the way you bomb an enemy. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we don't Because they, now we're talking about people that, that, that have died. How about um, the, the land itself? Yeah. How about housing? Hmm. Houses. How about the lot of things that are that are that are the environment and so the environmental disaster that comes with it? 
So this whole thing, it, it, okay, good, the error even happened. But the way our manner in which government is handling it is what is begging the question very seriously. Do you know what the literals wrote the other day in the in the in the in the banner headline? I don't know in the editorial in the editorial they said the Nigerian military must stop bombing and killing innocent northerners. Hmm. It sounded very epic. <laughs> yeah. But what other conclusion do you leave them with? Other than to write that way. Meanwhile, the president's foot soldier. Hmm. Well, I, I I I I can't call them president's foot. People who have said that they are the president's foot soldiers hmm. are lobbying the north for for the, for, for the president's second term. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Well, it's actually a very uh, dicey situation in indeed, but of course it was a very awesome uh, conversation we had this morning on Enterprise uh, Morning. I'd love to say big thank you to Mr. Cyril Baku for always uh, being around and to you, Dr. Olanika Oyegbile. Thank you so very much, sir, thank for you. being part of our show today and to all our audience, we'd love to say a big thank you to you. Remember to follow, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Enterprise TV 7. Press the notification bell so you get notified whenever we drop our contents. I am Henry Igwebike. I'll see you tomorrow on Enterprise Morning Conversation. Bye. TV, your one-stop shop for news, programs, human angle stories, the economy, sports, and much more. We go the extra mile to bring incredible details to you. So hop on the train now. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.